Where are you, Saul? I don't see you. Teacher. Saul. What's don't happening? Listen. <coughs> now. Okay. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hector, can you read it, please? She sells. She shows. On the seashore, the shells she sells are seashore shells. Okay, very good, very good. Jamilet, she sells, she sells on the seashore. She sells, she sells are seashore shells. Okay, make the difference. Okay. Lisette? No. Uh, she said, she said on the t-shirt. The shell, she said, are t-shirt shells. Uh-huh. Very good. <coughs> Let me share the screen. Okay. Uh, who's next? Maggie? She sells. She sells on the seashore. The she sells are seashore sales. Okay, okay. Um, Claudia? She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are, are seashore shells. Okay, very good, very good. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashore shells. Okay, and what is this? What are uh, seashells? What is the meaning of seashells? Um, no, I don't know. Conch no, shells. Yes, yes, you see the picture. Yeah? Conchas. Conchas de mar. De mar. Seashells. Aha. Uh -huh. What is seashore? Tienda de mar. Tienda de. No, no, no. That is a store. Tienda de store. Shore. Harina? No, no, harina. No. The rivers have shore. The lakes have shore. The ocean, the sea, has shore. You walk by the shore. You sit on the shore. La orilla, no. Exactly. Exactly. La orilla. Okay. The cost, it, 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 the cost of the ocean. Uh, it's the coast, cost of the ocean. Yeah, coast is, you, you can say, but coast is, es algo más general. Maybe. Uh, Okay. The shore is, is la orillita, no? La, okay. Por eso les digo, the rivers have shores. Lakes have shores. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, the seashore. Seashore. That is. So, okay. what, do, what does the, the woman do? Uh, what what does she do? <coughs> she, what does she do? Ella uh -huh. vende conchas en la orilla. Exactly. 
Uh -huh. Las conchas que ella vende uh -huh. son de la orilla. Son conchas de la orilla. Son conchas de, conchas de, la, orilla. de la orilla del mar. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? That is the idea. Ok. Ok, very good. You can practice this tongue twister later. It is in the in the group. Okay. Okay. Let's get started now with the, the activities for today's class. Well, um, last night I gave you some an activity to complete for tonight. Yes. I want to move this, 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 this. Oh, I'm facing problem with this. I cannot move it now. Here. Okay, let me go with this. Okay. Last night I we practiced this vocabulary about places in the community mm -hmm. and I and I gave you this activity to to work at home, okay? What activity you can do in different places? In the post office we say, well, I can send a letter in a post office or I can buy stamps in a post office. What about it? the park? What can you do in the park? I can walk. Exercise and dancing. I can walk. Somebody say it. I can walk in the park. I can exercise. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I play basketball, play soccer. Okay, I can play basketball or soccer. Okay, activities we can do in the park. Very good. And the talk at, at the at the friends. I can, friends. uh huh, talk with friends. Esa esa actividad de, de, de pasar tiempo con los amigos y Eso se, se dice hang out. Hang out. Uh -huh. okay. Hang out. Okay. Uh -huh. With friends. Hang or hand? Hang. Ah, hang. hang. Oh, I mm -hmm. understand. Hang out with my friend. Hang. Hang. Mm -hmm. hang, hang out. Okay. Hang out. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. What about a museum? What can you do in a museum? I can see I the can. picture. Exactly. <laughs> I can. Repeat, please, one at a time. See, see the picture. I can see pictures. What else? Uh, statue. Statues. Statues. Okay, I can see the statues. Statues. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what about a restaurant? Uh, I can eat the mm. restaurant. Eat a lot of food. <laughs> okay, a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Take okay. a coffee on your tea. Take okay. a cup, a, take a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. On a, I eat can a ice cream. Uh huh. And eat ice cream. Okay. I can. Get him date, a... como cita. Ah, okay. Have a date. Okay, very good. I eat ice cream. Okay. 
What about the library? What can you do in a library? <laughs> Bless you. Can you read a book? I can read a book. I can um, investigation. Investigation. I can uh, do some investigation. I can learn. I can learn or study. Mm -hmm. study uh -huh. Or study. Read okay. the book. At, read the book about the atmosphere. About what? Atmosphere. Ah, okay. About atmosphere. Very good. What about school? I can learn. I can learn. Mm -hmm. I can take a course of the English. Take an, an English course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can teach. I can teach. Okay. So, summer class. Mm -hmm. Summer classes. Okay. In a hospital. Mm. Take an appointment with the doctor. I can get an appointment mm -hmm. with um, a doctor. Coming at the um, I take a medicine. Okay. In the, in the pharma, pharma, pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Medicine from. I can visit the. Se me olvida cómo se dice enfermo. Nurse. A patient. A patient. Okay. okay. Very good. What about a bank? What can you do in a bank? I can pay. Okay, no. I, I can, can take a uh, change a okay, uh, uh, check. Okay, I can pay pay what? Mm -hmm. hmm? I can pay pay qué? Pay the bills. bills. Ah, okay. Bills. The bills. I can change the, uh, change the check. You can say cash. Cash. Uh -huh. Check. Okay. Es la novela o están regañando a alguien por ahí? Mi vecino, sorry. Okay, church. I can sing. Okay, I can sing. Uh -huh. I pray. I pray. I can pray. So we can pray for the another people, for the family. For others. Uh huh. I can see. Okay, very good. That's all? I can talk with God. I can learn about God. Okay, perfect. So we work on this last night, this vocabulary. Okay, the next activity is this. We are going to watch a video about the pronunciation of compound nouns. Here it is. Okay, let me play this video. 
It's about pronunciation of compound nouns. So I'm gonna mute your microphones so we can listen without any problem. Share the audio, okay. learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stress in words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroot.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so these are what we call compound nouns because our words form with two different nouns, okay, post and office, okay, together have a different meaning, post office. Yeah, drug and store, gas station. And uh, if you see the stress indicates the, the key word, la palabra clave, the key word. Go, the stress, the fuerza is in the key word, okay? In the key word. Let's practice these compound nouns. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Drug store. Gas station. Gas station. Supermarket. Supermarket. Restroom. Restroom. Bookstore. Bookstore. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Department store. Department store. Okay. Can you mention other compound nouns? 
Can you name other things? Postman. Sorry? Postman. Postman, uh-huh. Another one? Airplane. Excuse me? Airplane. Airplane, okay. Airplane. Airplane. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use different, for example, fire station. Yeah. Bus, bus station. Bus station. Police office. Okay. Police station. No. Police station. Mm -hmm. mm. Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, Batman. Superman. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for example, um, dining room, mm. yeah. bathroom, bathroom, bedroom, yes, bedroom, living room. Yeah. So many, many different compound nouns. Okay, this is kind of simple. Let's continue. Okay, now uh, we're going to start talking about prepositions of place, but let's see this conversation. Let me go one more time to the platform. What's going on here? We're going to see this video, which is about uh, prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Okay. Take a look, please. I'm going to mute your microphones one more time to avoid interference. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of 
main and first. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let's see the conversation first. Okay, this is the conversation to start. But first, before we practice the conversation, I want to ask you questions about the picture. What, what do you see in the picture? I want to hear you. A father and his son. A father and his, his son. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are lost. Maybe they are lost. Okay. Where are they? Are, are they in a house? Are they in an office? Are they in a park? Are they, they are on the street. They are on the street. Okay. What places can you see on the street? A restaurant, okay. Good. Um, just to practice, what is the woman wearing? She wearing a blue shoe, a blue blue shirt, blouse. Okay, a blue blouse. Mm -hmm. And brown pants. And brown pants. And the and the boy. Blue shirt. He, he wearing a light blue shirt. Mm -hmm. A shirt or a t-shirt? A t-shirt. A t-shirt. And? I don't know how do you say overall. That's English. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
overall. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, and overall. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, let's practice the conversation. Listen, okay? First time, just listen. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, listen and repeat. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Excuse me, can you help me? There are public restroom around here. A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. A public restroom? Um, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Oh, oh no, no. My, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, well there's, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the it's corner on the of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now I am the man and you are the woman, okay? Okay. okay? Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, don't I, don't so. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department of Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and Avenue. On the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yeah, yes. it's across it's from, a the from the park. park. You, can you can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Now, you are the man. You begin. One, okay. two, three. Excuse, Excuse me, me, can you help me? Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, oh no, no, my no. son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main, Where Street? In Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner? The yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Any question with the conversation? No. 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 No? Okay. In the pronunciation? How do you say this? Public restroom. Okay, but, but it's not exactly who. Um, it's not a uh, yes, it's more like that. Public. Public restroom. Public, public restroom. Okay. And I want I want to ask you, what is the difference between restroom and bathroom? Uh, restroom is public is para como sí, público. Mm -hmm. Baño público. Ah. Y el otro es como el baño de la casa. Ah, okay, very good. Is there a shower in a restroom? No. 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 All right, no. Okay, very good. Um, perfect. Now, I'll. I'll give you five minutes to practice the conversation in pairs, okay? Okay. Just okay. for a moment. Uh, three groups. Okay, maybe two or three minutes only. It's not too long.
Join the groups and practice the conversation two times. Join the group, David and Claudia, please. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. 
membership. My goodness. <laughs> Very friendly this class. <laughs> it's for Simon. <laughs> February. Yeah, we are in February. <laughs> Okay, let's practice the prepositions, okay? Prepositions of place. We have on. We basically use on when we talk about the street only. Okay? When we only mention the street. The department is on Main Street, okay? We only mention the street or a location, a particular location, like on the corner of Main and First, okay? On the corner. Then across from, across from is this, across. The park and across from. Next to, and between, between, in the middle. All right, this is the vocabulary. Let's practice these sentences. Okay, okay repeat. The, the department store is on Main Street. The department, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's, and first. Main and first. it's across from the park. It's across, across from, the, from park. the park. It's next to the bank. It's, it's next, next to, bank. to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. The, the bank, bank is between, is between the, the department the store and the, the restaurant. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Any question here? No. 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 I understand it. Excellent. Then we have a picture, of, uh, a small map of this place. And the idea is that you have to write sentences describing the location of different places. The location. Location is ubicación. All right. And I, I have some questions here to practice. For example, where is the gas station? Where is the gas station? Let me find it. Where is the gas station? Okay, here. Here is the, the gas station. The gas station is on the corner of uh -huh. Avenue and Center Street. Excellent. Very good. Let me write that. On through. You said. Let me write. It's on the corner of First, First Avenue and Center Street. Yeah, very good. All right. So I want you to do the same with the rest. With the rest of the, the places, okay? With the questions from these places. Let me see. Okay. Where is the city bank? Where is the... Where is the supermarket? Let me change this. Where is the supermarket? Where is the coffee shop? Where is the hospital? Where is the post office? Where is the movie theater? Where is the drugstore? Where is the department store? And where is the bookstore? 
Okay. 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 Uh, we only have five minutes, so well, actually not five minutes exactly because we have to finish a couple of minutes before nine. Uh, so I'll I'll give you this as a homework. Okay. In the group, you have the the map and the questions mm -hmm. in WhatsApp. Okay, so please work on this using okay. the, the prepositions we studied tonight. Okay, people? Okay, teacher. It was nice to see you tonight and have a nice weekend. Okay, enjoy, relax, and practice. Remember the platform exercises. You have to finish section one and section two. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Have bye -bye. a good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. And practice the tongue twister. Okay. <laughs>